Oh, Peter's coming in right on time. Let me uh, start some music. Let me see if we're streaming or not. All right, we're streaming, guys. We're on. Hey, Peter, how's it going? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right, awesome. Awesome. All right. Gentlemen, I'm so happy you're joining me. Give me a second. All right, guys. Texas Math Mundo audience. This is District 2023 live stream. So I'm so happy you can join us. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce our guests. We have some distinguished guests in the house. When I call your name, guys, introduce yourselves. Eric Lee. Uh, hi, my name is Eric Lee. Uh, I'm the president of the Math and Science Club at Elkins, and I do calculator and general math. Awesome. King Hoon. Uh, hi, my name is Kelman Cho. All right, and you're from? Yeah, I'm from Shino High School, and I All right, Shino a proud school. rattler. All right, Andy. Yeah, Andy Spear, um, coach, the number sense calculator in math at Helen Park. All right, uh, legendary Highland Park team. And Peter. Uh, Peter Fuentes. I help out with Pioneer and Mission Collegiate and all the math events. All right, all right. I guess I should introduce myself too. I never do, but Saul Cantu, coach at Pasadena High School and just uh, been doing this for a long, long time, like many of us have. So, gentlemen, Andy, what do you think about two, these it's two young gentlemen? <laughs> yes. Ha. <laughs> Hey, Andy, what do you think about these two young gentlemen joining us? Oh, yeah, really talented. Uh, some nice scores. Uh, Eric's score at uh, Team SCA State in math it was really impressive. For me. Absolutely impressive young individuals. How about you, Peter? What do you think about these young guys? Uh, they're all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're top contenders. I'm glad they joined us tonight. So uh, let's get, get it on. Well, I've had the pleasure of meeting these two young guys, you know, saying it's such a pleasure. They're gentlemen, true gentlemen. Eric Lee, I saw you at Timmy State State not long ago. I, I enjoy your enthusiasm. I enjoy uh, the way you interact. Kyung Hoon, I was so happy that you came up to me. Very humble and very nice, and I really appreciate you guys. So I, I couldn't help but thinking about you guys when I was considering who I'd like to co-host this. Hey, let's get some initial thoughts, man. Hey, uh, Eric, what are your initial thoughts about district? How was your district? Uh, our district was pretty tough. Uh, we have our district is probably one of the toughest in in the in the in the state. We have Clements and Dulles, both of them are really strong. Uh, number sense, obviously, we got shot down by Clements. No surprise there. Uh, calculator, we got third. Um, our third just wasn't having a good day that day, and uh, so uh, Dulles. I'm pretty sure Dulles got the wild card, and in math, we managed to wild card the region. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, it is a brutal, brutal district. At one time, I was in that district at Hightower, so I know how brutal that district is. For decades now, for decades, it's been brutal. Hey, Kim Hoon, how do you go today? How, what are your thoughts, your initial thoughts? Well, we got second individual in number sense, but we didn't have fast as a team. Calculators, we got second overall. Okay. And math, we also got second overall. We got wild card, and science, we won this year. All right, all right. Hey, and that's a brutal 5A. That's one of the toughest 5A di uh, districts in the state. What did you say, Peter? Uh, the best one in the state. Yes, sir. It's rough. Man, it's rough. And how about your initial thoughts, Andy? Any initial thoughts? Yeah, I mean, our district was not real competitive, so maybe my kids benefited from not having any pressure on them. But, yeah, I used to be in a, a East Texas district that was, you know, three really good teams, so. Yeah, these, these two guys both come from really tough districts where you got to be ready to go at district. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Looking forward to region. All right. How about you, uh, Peter? Any thoughts? Uh, I thought the number sense test was pretty easy. Uh, the calculator test was kind of normal, but a lot, I saw a lot of low scores. Uh, I think once teams look at it a little closer, they'll see it wasn't too bad. Because uh, there were some monster scores on that one. And as far as the math, math was pretty standard. I, and most of the scores went up from TMSA State. But uh, overall, it was a good meet. I, I just wish that number sense was a little harder. But I'm, I'm sure the regionals will be 
So. So I have some initial thoughts. You know, my district, I'm 6A, District 22. We're not that good. Our district is not good. Believe me, Eric Lee by himself will defeat any team in my district. Okay, that's how bad we are. But we got some heart. We're trying. I got mostly sophomores and freshmen. We advance in number sense and calculator. So we'll see you guys, Eric Lee. We'll see you at uh, KD7 Lakes. But we lost math. Math to Deer Park and Pasadena Dolby and... Uh, but I got a bunch of freshmen and sophomore, but I'm making excuses. We lost. That's the bottom line. We lost in math. All right. So I'm going to have to get over it. I'm going to have to get to work for next year. But that's that was our experience. All right. So this is all about, inter this is a live stream. So it's all about interaction. There's two ways you can get involved, audience. And I hope you do get involved. We want to hear your voices. Uh, you can get involved by the live chats. So go ahead and uh, get into that live chat, make a comment, hey, represent your school. You know, say you're the proud PSGA Bears or wherever you're from, represent. If you're not affiliated with the school, represent your city, your hometown, get involved. A second way to get involved is to call in via the Discord. I got the link on the running ticker uh, below, and you can call in and, and make a comment. We want to hear your voices, all right? Hey, so we're going to about to scrutinize the results. I do want to give a shout out, give credit to Chuck Thompson and the Virtual Challenge Meets. They produced this wonderful document. It's going to streamline our discussion because otherwise it'd be impossible to do this. So a big, big, big shout out to Chuck Thompson and the Virtual Challenge Meet guys because they produced this document and that's the document we're going to look at. All right. All right. Initially, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the, uh, at the let's take a quick look at the chat. And uh, let me see, give me a second, see if anybody's, there we go. All right, we got a few initial, uh, a few notes. We got uh, Ivan Pena says, yeah, hey, Ivan, tell us what school you're from. Hello, Ivan, thanks for chiming in. I, I, <laughs> all right, Aiden Gerter, sir, saying hi. Oh, Mission Collegiate Night, Ivan Pena. All right, all right. Let's take a look. That's little my boy. That's your boy, really? What yeah, grade is he in? He's good at chess. Oh, he's I good at chess. He's a junior. Yeah. I'll be the judge of that. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how good he really is at chess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, gentlemen, you ready to scrutinize the results? Let's look at them. So, so we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go by the the way that the the Chuck Thompson reports are by topic. So we'll start with number sense. Go one A through six A. Uh, we'll make some comments along the way, and then we'll do. Uh, uh, well, then we'll check in on the chat and the Discord, and then we'll go on through uh, through calculator, math, and science. So that's the way. So let's get started. Number sense results. Let's do this. So number sense result one A one A. Luke Maxwell first place uh, coming out of district from Jonesboro. You know, Luke Maxwell is the defending champion. I don't know if you know that, guys. I've Actually, I, I will say his grandpa is a fan of Texas Math Mundo. I ran into his grandpa and, it, and I've talked to his mom. So Luke Maxwell, man, shout out to you. Great job. Score 178. Uh, we got in Garden City's a perennial powerhouse in 1A. Blake Stewart. Will Hairston from Bellevue. James Miller from Nippa. Chloe Birkenfeld from Nazareth. Skyler Garcia from Garden City. Tatum Braden from Garden City. Daily Chisholm from Jayton, Victor Ortiz from Nippa, and Jackson Wyatt from Rankin. So these are some, uh, these are some uh, traditional uh, powerhouse, Garden City, Nippa, Rankin. But Luke Maxwell, man, the defending champion, I believe he's won it the last two years. So that's great. Blake was second last year at State as well. So. Oh, so it's a repeat so far. So far. All right. And it was tight at State last year, if I remember correctly. So let me do some scroll. This is good. The more I scroll, the better. That means the more participation there was. So if we look at the teams on 1A, and the teams, Garden City, uh, 355, Nazareth, 269. Uh, Garden City's in Region 3. Uh, excuse me, Region 2. Nazareth from Region 1. Nippa, 255. Region 4. Jaden, Region 1, so I guess they get the uh, they get the wild card. Jaden. All right, Bellevue and Jonesboro. So those are the teams. 1A. All right, gentlemen. 
Let's look at two-way number sense. That's a usual suspect. Nicholas Ellison, 382. Hey, Peter, Andy, did you all get a chance to see the highest score in the state? Um, Nathaniel and and I believe uh, Ellison were the only ones that got a 382. Yeah, 382, those two. So that Pumala kid? Yeah, correct. Pumala and Nicholas Ellison, wow. Wow, that's great. Hey, uh, Jung Hoon, Eric, how hard was that number sense test? Um, I thought there was a couple difficult questions on the test, but overall it was pretty easy. Okay, okay. How about you, Eric? Any impressions on the number sense? Yeah, I missed pretty much the entire third call. <laughs> I, was... I, don't, I don't really do number sense much, so I kind of bombed it. Hey, wait a minute. You got to the third column. So there's some people who are envious of you. <laughs> all right, all right. So Nicholas Ellison, by a mile? By a mile, man. Look how much. I mean, I... It, I don't think anybody can challenge him in number sense. I think this is a foregone conclusion, possibly, in 2A state number sense individual. Um, Did Lindsay win team? So, okay, so let's take a look. Let's round out the top six at least. Ryan Hellman from Lindsay. Cason Parker from Shelbyville. Jace Keith from Lindsay. Aiden Bittner from Olney. Corey Metzler from Lindsay. Caitlin Bailey from Olney. Jarrett Dulock from Lindsay. So a lot of Lindsay and Olney and a little bit of Chevyville up here. So let's take a look at the team. A lot of scrolling. Give me a second. We'll take a look at the team. All right. Almost there. Give me a second. And, and this is two way. Okay. So team Lindsay pretty comfortably with a 563. Uh, but of course, this is just for the opportunity to go to region. And they're region two. Olney, also region two. So there goes your wild card, I suppose. Olney with the 465. Woodsboro on the power of uh, Nick Ellison from region four. Shelbyville, Sudan, and Sundown. All right. All right, so that's uh, that's class 2A. Now it's time for 3A. Hey, Peter, you're pretty familiar with the 3A, aren't you? A little bit. Look at that number one name kind of out of district. Number one. I think we know Rick Ricardo Cho. He's a fan. Of te he's, a, he's a friend of Texas Math Mundo. So a score of 261. First place in 3A. That's pretty impressive. Uh, second place, Addison Langley from Gladewater Sabine. That's Keith Taylor's kid. Uh, third place, Eric Zhu from San Antonio uh, uh, Basis Shivano. Alyssa Walker from Gladewater Sabine. Nicholas Ochoa from Mission Collegiate. Keegan Hollemans from Wichita Falls City View. Randy Stevens from Pollock Central. And Dante Salazar from Dangerfield. All right. So did Mission Collegiate take the team? Yes, sir. It was close, though. Let's take a look at those team results. A lot of scrolling here. Give me a second. All right, team. Mission Collegiate, first place with a 606. But Glade, Gladewater Sabine, they're within shouting distance. They're within striking distance at 577. And then there's a big old gap to San Antonio Basis Chavano. So that's a collision course. What are your thoughts, Peter, being the coach of the, a lot of the Mission Collegiate kids? I think. Number sense is going to be pretty hard. Uh, I know Sabine has been beating us pretty much all year long. Uh, I know they didn't really have any competition at district, so they might have taken it easy. Uh, I'm just glad that my third man is showing up. He's he's almost caught up to Nicholas, so that puts us in a good spot. But uh, it's going to be tough. Whoever wins will deserve it because. They've been both going in at it all year long. Yeah, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. And something tells me that there'll be a, a you know, crashing and other things other than the number sense. I'm thinking the calculator and the math is also going to be very competitive. So, all right. That's uh, 3A. Let's look at 4A. So, what name should I look at in 4A? 4A. Ooh, Stacy Zhang, a young lady from Port Lavaca, Calhoun with a 295. 
Salado of traditional powerhouse Luke Dragala, Marco Tan from Big Spring, Stephen Livingston, a friend of Texas Math Mundo, Dallas Science Engineering Magnet, George Zhang, another friend, Sunnyvale, Rohan Parthapon from Dallas Science Engineering Magnet, Elijah Maldonado from La Jolla Salina STEM, and Chloe Rose from Salado. Wow, Stacy, man. Stacy's a force to be reckoned with, man. And she's is she only a sophomore this year? Yeah. Yeah. She's only a sophomore, man. You know, uh, I interviewed her sister, state champion Jessica Zane, and she warned us about Stacy. She warned us. She said that she thought Stacy was even better than her. <laughs> I think she went to Columbia last I heard. When that interview she she was had attentions. So, first place team, Stephen Livingston and the guys from Dallas Science Engineering. They uh they got uh, Eek Pass Salado, La Jolla Salina Stem in third place, Longview Spring Hill. Let's see, we got just uh, we got region two, region three, region four, region two. So I guess Longview Spring Hill gets the uh, wild card. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Dallas Talented and Gifted. So they get a... Wait up. Uh, it's the best second place score in district, right? Yeah. Second, so wait a minute. The best <coughs> second so place. Just Come on. Okay, okay, cool. But if you're like trying to predict who might get wild card for state, yeah, you could look at um, maybe like... Spring Hill not being loved. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, that's good. So that is 4A. Dallas Science Engineer Magnet looks pretty strong, man. But Salado, traditional powerhouse right behind them. All I think right. that was close. Stephen Livingston is really fast. So if he if he gets his accuracy, you know, has a, he'll be hard to beat. So he, he didn't do as well in this one. But he probably finished mid-16 because at our meet, you know, he was like that. Fin got 78, missed several. But then in San Antonio, he, he had a good score. Okay, okay. So he's, uh, but he's only a freshman, too. So I guess uh, yeah. a little erratic. But uh, he gets his accuracy down. Forget it. 5A, Kyung Hoon. We're in your territory now. Kyung Hoon. All right, look at Puamala, District 29. Derek Lee, District 31, and Kyung Hoon. District 31. So we got Puamala with the 382, tying uh, tying Nicholas Ellison for best in the state. Derek Lee right behind him, one question behind from Sherilyn Pioneer. Kyle Zhu from Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. Kyung Hoon Cho from Mission Sherilyn. Amon Saradena from Longview. Samuel Zhang from Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. Tony Wang, another power name, from Lubbock. And Malik. From Grain Grapevine, Amen. Five A is just stacked with talent. Look at these names: Brennan Ashley in ninth place. He's only a freshman though. And Aiden Gerderser from Allen White. Just the top ten alone is powerhouse names. You know. All right. So uh, these are some powerful names. Hey, Kim Hoon, fourth in the state. What do you think? Pretty impressive. Um, I got fourth in the state, but that's fourth. In the region. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. Flip. Well, 5A, 5A, uh, 5A number sense. These are all the scores from all the regions, right? So that would be fourth and 5A number sense, right? Yeah. Not bad. That's still a hell of impressive, Kanyun. Very impressive. You know? Uh, District 31 is tough, though. Derek Lee. District 31 is tough. All right, good stuff. These are the individuals. I mean, when you got Aiden Gerser at 10th place, you know that uh, these were some tough, tough, that's a tough, tough conference. All right, let's look at the teams. All right, cool. So who took it in 5A? It was it Corpus uh, Christi Flower, Flower Bluff? They broke a 1,000. Is anybody even close? Uh, 200 points. Wow. Well, you know, that, that's a respectable score. 
Wow, Corpus Christi. Hey, interesting note. I'm scheduled to do a team interview finally with Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. So we got that scheduled. Hopefully, yeah. when's yeah. that come out? Well, I'm supposed to interview him this Wednesday. So hopefully I can uh, publish that a team interview with the Corpus Christi Flower Bluff Hornets uh, by this Saturday, by this weekend. That's the hope. That would so, be good. All right. So that's that's in the works. I also have uh, Goose Creek Memorial in the works. So we got some we got some stuff. All right. Sherilyn Pioneer, a distant second. Hallsville and the power of Ben and Ashley. Edinburgh Vela, Mr. Alan East and the guys over there. And then we got... Abilene Wiley in fifth place, Argyle in sixth place, Grapevine in seventh place, Lubbock in eighth place, Sherryland uh, in ninth place, Frisco Heritage in tenth place. Man, just a bunch of great teams. 5A is just stacked across the board. All right. And, and finally, 6A. Yep. Uh, Eric ahead. Tong didn't show up to district for Grapevine. Really? And he was like tied for second last year at State, so... Not sure about that, you know. Now, there's a way to, to substitute him in, right, at Regent? You're allowed one substitution? Yeah. So that doesn't mean we haven't heard the end yeah, of Eric Tom this year. Well, they beat Argyle by nine points for the wild card. So he has – they'll probably sub him in at Regionals if he goes. But uh, their math team didn't make it through, so he can't go through. Oh, he can't math. sub in. Really? That's exactly. tragic. I hope everything's okay. You know, sometimes you wonder, you know, some of these personal things happen. Sometimes you wonder. But, uh, oh, well, let's hope everything's okay. 6A, number sense. Dylan Patel rises to the top. You know what, Eric? I envy you not being in that same district as Dylan and Justin and the guys. I envy you not. You know? Yeah, number sense competition here is wild. Hey, Eric, I know you have a lot of respect for these guys. Were you able to uh, interact with them, say hi, Bond? Hi. Uh, Eric, you there? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, We I was able to chat with them a bit after the test. Obviously, they, they, uh, they swept in our district. Wow, man. Dylan Patel, pretty incredible, man. 355. Sam Regalado, man. That's uh, He's from the Corpus Christi Flower Bluff, right? Uh, with uh, Gillespie, that middle school? Hey, he was there in middle school. Yeah, he was there in middle school, and then he transferred to Austin starting ninth grade. Wow, Sam Regalado. Maybe. Justin Lai, of course. Hey, yeah, did Clementine a third? Hey, Ari and Aurora. Wait, that's, a one, that's quite a third at 300. So they're, they're pretty good. Krishan Gupta from Conroe, the Woodlands. Andrew Nguyen, Tomba Memorial. I had a chance to interview him. He's bright. Tomba Memorial. I wonder how they did. Uh, I'm going to take a look in a second. Calvin Shu from Klein Kane. Edgar Lemus, man. Edgar Lemus, uh, sophomore, Edinburgh North. Arian Aurora, Fort Ben Clements. Laksh Lakshmi Vemula from Dallas Highland Park. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Lakshmi. Say that one more time. Lakshmi. Okay, Lakshmi. All right. Kai Miller for Tom Ball Memorial. Tom Ball Memorial, pretty impressive little team over there. All right, so let's take a look at the teams. I'm kind of curious here. Let's take a look. 6A teams. And we got... Fort Ben Clements, 992-8. Corpus Christi Flower Bluff beat him. I want to say Flower Bluff had the highest team score ever. Dallas Highland Park. 1039. Yeah, that's it. Ever? you saying ever? For like yeah, a district I know region Plum, or state. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know uh, uh, in the playoffs, yeah. Uh, I know Klein had a 1029 at regionals in 2007 or 2009. But I think this 1039 might be the height. So you're thinking that that was a historical performance? Correct. Wow, wow, wow. So Dallas Highland Park, hey, look at Tomball Memorial, man. Tomball Memorial. Uh, but they're in uh, region, uh, what, that's region three, right? No, no, that's region two. 
Region two. two. So they got first place. Yeah. Right. Well, of course they won their district. In their district. They got their district. Yeah, they got second at state last year. Yeah, man. That's uh that team is serious, man. That team's serious. Of course, it's gonna be hard to overcome the Fort Ben Clements if they you know, they clash a state. Or even Highland Park for that matter. But hey, there's some respect there. That's respectable. Edinburgh North, Edgar Liemus, Joseph Abinoha, Klein Kane, Calvin Chu, Allen, Fort Ben Dulles. Fort Ben Dulles showed up. Conroe. You know, Allen didn't have their their top guy, Jacob McPherson. He wasn't there. So their team score should be a lot better than that. Oh, really? So they could probably sub him in at uh, at they Region. Could probably... All okay. right. Plano West, Round Rock. Hey, that Grand Oak seems pretty good. I've encountered them in a couple of tournaments this year. They were at Caney Creek when we went. So, pretty good team. All right, gentlemen. What are your thoughts, man? That's number sense. A I historical a performance by, uh, by Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. And uh, there seem to be some clear-cut winners here because Fort Ben Clements. I don't know if anybody can uh, can catch them. Uh, Highland Park was second. What do you what do you what are your odds, uh, Mr. Spear, for Highland Park catching up with Fort Ben Clements? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't I don't think so. But um, I've got three sophomores, and that was their best score of the year. So uh, we'll see if we can maintain like that 800 range. All right. Because a lot of these other schools, like Edinburgh North, beat us at San Antonio. Allen has beat us a couple times before. Oh, okay. So we, we still got work to do, but we'll, we we don't practice as much up until now. Then usually we start getting more involved. All right. Okay. Hey, it looks like a battle in 3A between Mission Collegiate and Sabine. Gladewater Sabine. I, yeah, uh, Addison actually came up. She uh she didn't have a good uh, meet at Team SAA State. Uh, she wasn't even on the four-man team. But she's their state champion, and she came up 70 points from that score to lead them with a 209, and that 209 would have been second in the state. So I expect more from her and the whole team. So it's going to be tough uh, to Langley. beat them at state. So it was, yeah. Hey, Kim Ho. She's gonna, she, I'm sorry. She'll... Addison Langley, yeah, she did really excellent, really impressive from her. Kim Ho. Fourth place score in 5A coming out of district. That's pretty impressive, young man. So cool. You know what's crazy? What, what's crazy? If, if it was regionals, if it was regionals, he would not be going to state. Because he was fourth place in the region? Fourth in the region. Behind oh. Kyle, Derek, and Nathaniel. You hear that, Kim? That would be crazy. You hear that, Kim Hoon? I'm just trying to qualify the state. It's my last year, so hopefully I can. Hey. Well, you got quite a challenge ahead of you. All right, gentlemen, let's take a look at the uh, at the chat real quick, like. Uh, let's take a look at the chat. Give me a quick second here. See if we got anything going on. All right, hey, a very active chat. Wow, I'm loving it. Let's see the main highlights. Ooh, a lot of Eric Lee fans out here. Hey, I'm an Eric Lee fan too. Matthew says, go Eric. Uh, Agnev Sarkar is the goat. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's Sexy Beast. We got some uh, Kim Hoon Show uh, fans too. Let's see. I love Eric Lee. Well, we got some fans here. <laughs> All right. A lot of interaction. I like it. David Hovey is interacting. In the state. Zach, let's see. Science Academy down there at 2. Or oh, at 21. All right. So good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Let's see if anything's in the Discord at this point. No, all right. So gentlemen, that was number sense. You ready to scrutinize uh, calculator? Let's take a oh look at calculator. Goodness. So 
So district, calculator. Oh, wait, I already have it up here. Calculator right here. So let me increase. So. All right, calculator. 1A, Newcastle, Ashley Taylor, then Rankin, Rankin, Rankin with Jackson, Jackson Wyatt, Morgan Tubbs, J.J. Cottle. And then Garden City with Blake Stewart, Brock Braden, uh, Hartley with Edgar Perianes, and Rankin with Alexis Cura, Newcastle, Ben Burke, and Baird, Braddy Deal. So, 1A. And I, let me see these scores. I forgot. I didn't look at the scores very closely. Let me see the scores. So 259, 238, 224, 206, 205, 203. 1A. If we look at the teams. Give me a second as I scroll. A lot of teams. All right. Teams. Rankin, 668. But not very far behind is Newcastle at 644. And Garden City at 578. Uh, Harley at 562, Moulton at 516, and uh, there you go. Nip was in there, Afton, Patton Springs. So those are our 1A standings. Rankin at 68. Looks like a battle between Rankin and Newcastle. One is District 2, uh, Region 2, the other one's Region 3. All right, cool. 2A results. Let's get to the 2A individuals. Nicholas Ellison, 329. Hey, how does that score uh, uh, compare with the other ones, Peter? Did you, did you get a chance to scrutinize that? I think the highest score was a 329. I didn't see anything higher than that. And, and right there, was, there was a couple of people. Yeah, there was a couple of people who got a 329. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. And right on his heels, Ty Schaller, 315. They've been battling it out, man. They've been battling it out. Their freshman year was canceled due to COVID. Then Ty Schaller won, and then Nicholas Ellison won last year, and this is the rubber match. And then uh, there's a gap between, uh, you go down to Plains, Angel Lozano uh, with a 252, Jace Keith from Lindsay, Erica Endres from Munster, Munster, Mohamed Assad from Latexo, Jennifer Martinez from Olney, Miguel Ramirez from Plains, Oscar Cruces from Three Rivers, Soliel Tran from Sabine Pass. All right, so let's look at the team. Kind of curious how the team's shaped up. If Nicholas Ellison was able to carry his uh, Woodsboro Eagles to region. I think I think Sabine Pass might have had it. Sabine Pass. That's Ty Schaller. Correct. Nice. They've won two years in a row. They're going for the 3 P. Really? Wow. Man, how, you have such great command of this stuff, Peter. That's why I respect you so much. Man, you really know this data. Planes, 707. Well, I, know, I know I talked to him on the Discord, and he told me he, he told me that they've won it two years in a row. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, same, same like us. Cool. Woodsboro, so they're first place in their district. Uh, Latexo, first place in their district. Olney, Lindsay. Three Rivers got second place, 630. Moonster, Ropesville, Ropes. Ropesville, Ropes. Grover, St. Augustine. All right. So there you go. Sabine Pass, Tyler Shaw. They're looking pretty strong, man. They're looking really strong. Um, but that Plains, man. Plains is a historically uh, good school. I always, when I look at the uh, archives, there's always kids from Plains in there. So, All right. That's we used uh, to, we yeah. used to we used to lose to them when I was at San Isidro. They would win first and we'd get second. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's look at 3A. Again, we're talking about Mission Collegiate. Hey, Ricardo Ochoa, that's impressive. He was the best scorer in number sense, and now he's the best scorer in calculator? Man, and he's only a junior. Ricardo Ochoa, man. He yeah, had, he'll one, be back he had a great day. And then Adrian and Edia, right behind him. Look at that 320 from Ricardo Shoa. That's impressive. Adrian Heredia, 278 from uh, Mission Collegiate, Canadian, Laney Hood. Eliza Roper, Gladewater Sabine, Nicholas Ashoa, Mission Collegiate. So that's one, two, three. You all, uh, you all did great in calculator. Nick yeah, Giannis from Denver City, 
Michael Taylor from uh, uh, Glaywater Sabine, Carol Anguiano from Glaywater Sabine, Seth Stevens from Tus Tuscola, Jim Ned, and Gary Woodall from Glaywater Sabine. Did you all win this one handily? Yeah, by 100, I believe. Wow. You don't want to count your chickens for their hat before their hats, but they look pretty good. Yeah. I, like I said, I, I don't think they have much competition in their district, so I'm pretty sure they probably took the week off. So Yeah, they're not feeling the stress yeah, or the, the urgency. Yeah. All right, so Mission yeah, Collegiate. So we, we just got to keep on. By 100 points, man, over Glaywater, Sabine, Keith Taylor, Eliza Roper, Denver City, 698, San Antonio Basis, Shivano. That's been an impressive school. Tuscula, Tuscula Jim Ned, New Waverly, Ponder, Brock, Callisburg, Canadian. All right. So you now we go on to 4A. Denver's. Yeah, go ahead. The coach from Denver City. The coach from Denver City. He, he used to coach playing. Brad Friesen. Friesen oh, Friesen, I've like heard that, that name. Is he, he's, he's the coach of Denver City? Yeah, that. Yeah, he's at Denver City, and I didn't even know until I saw him at, at the TMSA State meet. I'm like, I was wondering why Denver City was so good at couch So and, he's, uh, a he's a historic guy. He's a historic guy. He's a legendary guy. Correct. I don't know him, but I know oh, the yeah. name. Yeah, he showed up with like a nice fedora hat. He was there. Oh. Know, grading with us in three. You're going to have to introduce us, man. Hey, he's a good guy. All right, all right. 4A, Marco Tan from Big Springs. 329. You said that was the top score in the state, right? I believe them too, and there might have been a 6'8 student who got a 329 also. Okay. Matthew Bidwell from Georgetown Gateway. Carter Boyd from Longview Spring Hill. Paige Ferris. Hey, uh, I think uh, Larry White mentioned that, you know, uh, when we did our uh, show on TMSA State, you know, if they weren't in the top team, they didn't get much, uh, much, you know, uh, attention. So he brought my, uh, he he brought this young lady's attention to, he brought this young lady to my attention. So apparently she's been doing great oh, yeah, for Plato. What's that, Peter? Yeah, I, I was surprised her her score dipped so low though. I, I mean, she had such a good outing at MSA State. I I, I would have thought, thought she would have broken three hundred on this test. But yeah. we'll see at regionals. How hey, she do you know what grade she's in? Back. Junior. She's, she's a junior. junior. Okay, okay. Steven Livingston, our uh, our friend from Dow Science Engineering Magnet. Ty Castro from Salado. Morgan Glossa from Salado. So Salado had a team. Uh, Doreen Lule from Port Lavaca, Calhoun. Hector De Leon from La Jolla Salinas. Justin Wynn from Dallas Science Engineering Magnet. Let's take a look at the teams. I'm kind of curious who, who won the team here. In 4A. Salado. Salado. Was it Handley? Salado. I think so. Hey, Cabanas, man. Legendary coach Dennis Cabanas. Those guys are good, man. So it's, it's pretty good. Salado. Longview Spring Hill, 696. Dallas Science Engineering Mag, 679. Georgetown Gateway, 653. Uh, La Jolla Salina STEM. Early College High School, 597. Big Spring. So, wow. Athens. You know, there used to be a coach that I knew that was in Athens, a guy by the name of Ken Walker. I don't know if he's around. Do you, do you know Ken Walker? Yeah, I know him. He, uh, he's retired, but he still works with them, so, you know. Oh, he was great. He was at, I knew him when he was down here at Sweeney. He was at yeah. Sweeney. Mm -hmm. He was a great coach. He was a great coach back in the, you know, the early 2000s when he was at Sweeney. So, Port Lavaca Calhoun. And Royal. Roy, I ran into Royal in a local tournament in uh, Caney Creek, Kaufman. All right, so later looking strong in 4A. Let's go to 5A. Derek Lee, 327. Daniel Ramirez, 327. Wow, Sherilyn Pioneer, man, the top two scores. Aiden Gerser, 322. James Reagan from Argyle, 320. Brennan Ashley from Hallsville. Kim Hoon. Chung Hoon, Mission Sherilyn. And he got in third place in his uh, district, so he qualifies for region as an individual. Man, when you, when you got over a 300 and you're third place in your district, 
Chung Hoon, I do not admire you, man. It's so tough, the road you have to travel. Kyle Zhu from uh, Corpus Christi Flower Bluff. Zachary Southern from Hallsville. Tony Wayne from Lubbock. And Sattvik Dadukuru from Frisco Liberty. Nash hey, Nathaniel Martinez from Mount Pleasant. Victor Nava, Mission Sherilyn. All right, good guys, good guys. So, I'm imagining that, uh, okay, Sherilyn Pioneer, Sherilyn Pioneer. Where's their third? Way at the bottom. Uh-oh. Did y'all win the t uh, team at district? Yes, uh, Sherilyn got the second, and they got the wild card. To oh, they got the wild so card. They'll, yeah, they'll be they'll be at region. All right, Sherilyn Pioneer with an eight seventy eight, Hallsville right on their heels at eight sixty two. Brennan Ashley, man, and company. Uh, Mission Sherilyn eight forty six, district rank two, but the best uh, there. So Abilene Wiley. Hey, Mission Sherry, 846, that's not too far behind. Kyung Hoon, any thoughts on going to region? Y'all got a chance? Um, I want to say we had an off meet, so hopefully we can win regionals and move on to state. Hey, well, you're at striking distance, that's for sure. And uh, I think the winner or the second place person in that region probably has uh, the, the favor to get wild card to state anyways. Is that not so, Peter? Uh, there's Abilene, Wiley, and Argyle oh. in the same region. So, and, but Argyle was about 30 points behind them. So um, they're kind of right in the middle. They have a shot. It, I mean, it should happen like that. It was like that last year. But like I say, you never know. Argyle has two studs that can break 300 also. Yeah. So, hey, make it to state, and who knows what happens that day, right? Exactly. It could be anybody's game, huh? Originals. You just gotta be ready to take it. So Corpus Christi Flower Bluff, Mount Pleasant, Edinburgh Vela, Conotillo, man, Conotillo. First place in their district, so they'll be in region. Lubbock. Frisco Liberty. All right. For, I mean first place in their district for Conotillo. All right. So that was 5A. 6A. So, K7 Lakes has a calculator team. Yeah, that was surprising. What? <laughs> yeah, Where they been? Their scores all year. <laughs> I, actually, I saw their scores on the B test or the A test, and I was like, what? Where's... I mean, I know k is a good ground for smart math kids. The question yeah. is whether they had the coach for it. I guess they have one now, but they're showing up in calculator. Well, I went to the K Seven Lakes tournament. I don't, I don't, I didn't remember this. Well, at the Seven Lakes, I'm pretty sure they didn't compete. They probably have been hosting. All right. So that was UIL A. Yeah. Then it was A. But I saw their scores, and they were like the only ones at the top of the list. I was like, what? Wow. This is like a, the only ones that this is taking me by surprise me. here. K Seven Lakes. Wow. Yeah, I, that's I, Region Three. So North Shore has their hands full. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know the. I know. The, uh, I don't know the calculator coach, but I know like the academic coordinator, Paul Stroud. He's the one who hosts the tournament. So I don't know. I gotta find out who that is. We gotta find out who the coach is. Deanna yeah, DeRosa. What's that? Uh, as a team, they broke nine hundred. So they're, they're the only ones in the state. Really? That's right. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. North Shore, Deanna DeLosa, Jace Tapiz. Fort Bend Clemens, Justin Light, Eric Lee. Eric Lee, Fort Bend Elkins. Uh, Eric, what place were you individually in calculator? Uh, I tied first with J-Lock. Oh, that's right. You tied for J-Lock. It says first place. Yes, first place. Okay, so you'll be at region. But you all got shut out uh, team-wise. Yeah, we did. In calculator. Dulles showed up. Wow. Galena Park, North Shore, Zachary Mann. PSGA, Jonathan Garcia. PSGA, Kevin Lopez. Uh, we got Juarez Raman from Allen. And I'm interested to look at these. Uh, so the first Dulles kid I see is Rasheel Shaw. Rasheel Shaw is pretty fantastic. Wow. All right, let's look at these team scores.
Rasheel Shaw being the defending science champion. 6A individual science champion. All right, he has Katie Seven. With Highland Park. What's that? He's going to have his hands full with Highland Park. So. Oh, in science? Yeah, that's going to be a battle, I want to see. So you're right. Katie Seven Lakes, man, takes it. Wow, that's a surprise to me. I haven't mentioned their name all year long until right now. KD7 Lakes, mm -hmm. North Shore at 885, Far San Juan Alamo, man, they're they're a distance. They're they're 80 points behind KD7 Lakes. Fort Bend yeah, Clemens. Talked to Oscar. They had a they had a tough meeting on that one. I think they've been focusing a lot on math because they, they made it uh, to regional score. All math, right. And I want to say they're the second highest in the region. Okay, in math. Mm. Fort Bend Clements. 794, Allen, 792, Highland Park, and look at Dulles and Elkins, man. So Elkins gets shut out. They're one of, they're one of the best eight teams in the, in the 6A in the state, and they get shut out because they're in a very rough, rough district. Oh, well. Louisville Marcus at 704, Perlin Dawson at 701. All right, cool, rough. All right, so that's Calculator. That is Calculator. Gentlemen, any thoughts on Calculator? Nicholas Ellison and uh, who else was the top scorer? Uh, Ricardo Ochoa? No, uh, Marco Tan. Marco they both Tan. had 329s. Okay, wow, that's and pretty good. And Derek and Daniel had 327. Wow, Derek. Wow, wow, that's really fantastic, Rick. really fantastic. So uh, going into region, man. Sherilyn Pioneer, Sharon Lynn Rattlers, uh, Argyle, and uh, who else? Argyle and... Uh, who is Argyle? Uh, oh, Abilene. 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 I guess. Abilene. Wow. I mean, wow. We, st we, still have, we, we still have Flower Bluff in our region. Flower Bluff won TMSEA State. So there's three in our region, and there's two in region two, or region one, for calculators. So that, that's going to be tough for, for the Walker. Wow, there's some battles shaping up. There's some battles shaping up. Wow. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the live, live chat. Let's see what we got here. Eric Lee tied. All right, some good stuff. Mission Collegiate fans in here. Eric Lee's contributing. All right, all right, good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's take a look at the Discord. All right. So now, let's take a look at math. Y'all ready to scrutinize math? Let's do it. So, uh, math scores. Ashley Taylor, young lady looks like, from Newcastle, got first place in 1A. Ollie Heatley from Vernon Northside. James Miller from Nippa, Jackson Wyatt from Rankin, Brock Braden from Garden City, Darius Turbush from Groom, Tegan Cook from Harriet Midway, Luke Maxwell from Jonesboro, Morgan Tubbs from Rankin, and Shelby Martin from Asper Mount. As far as teams coming out of 1A, Newcastle. First place in their district, Rankin, first place in their district, Nippa, Garden City, Groom, Vernon, Northside, Henrietta, Midway, Aspermont. All right, I'm not so familiar with the 1A kids, but these look like some pretty traditional names. Hey, watch out for San Isidro next year. Really? Where's San Isidro this year? Uh, I don't know. But uh. they, they gave me a call, so we'll see. Oh, I heard about that. Hey, are you going to give us some insight? No, I'm, I'm ready to get on the ball. So, they, uh, hey, uh, do they want to employ you? Or is that too 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 quick? So, are you going to be working with them? I don't know. Well, I, I mean, I, I'll work with anybody. Uh, I used to teach at San Isidro, so they yeah. have a place in my heart. So. All right, all right, all right. All right. Mathematics, 2A, Nicholas Ellison, 332. Carter Tucker, though, look, Carter Tucker is closing the gap. 
Car Tucker's closing the gap. Wow, look at that. Right? Look at that. Look at that. That is good. Nicholas Ellison, man, has got some competition. He got some competition, man. In, in, in calculator and in... Uh, they, don't, they don't let this young man rest. Ty Schaller, man, but there's a gap there. 226, Mohamed Assad from Latexo, Donald Welburn from Three Rivers, Jennifer Martinez from Olney, Brandy Jackson from Latexo, Charles Schenkier from Milano, Jace Keith from Lindsay, Angel Lozano from Plains. All right, let's look at these teams. Was it Latexo? Nope. It's like it. Yeah, pretty easily. Easily, in fact. So nobody's going to stop their reign. Yeah, it looks pretty easy. Latexo at 662, Woodsboro 414, Olney 344, Plains 308, Lindsay 288, Three Rivers 288, Sabine Pass 286. All right. All right. So that's 2A. 3A. How'd the battle shape up between... Uh, hey, wait a minute. Ricardo Shaw got the best 3A score in math also? So he got the best it's number six, three. calculator, and math in 3A coming out of district. Wow. His calculator and math would have been real good at any conference. And he broke a 300. And he yeah. broke a 300. Man, he's 80 <laughs> points above second place from San Antonio Basis Serrano. Man, Ricardo Ochoa had an unreal day on Saturday. Unreal. Luke Metcalf from Grand Salina, 204. Go ahead, the comment on that, uh, Peter. Oh, uh, he broke 200 in science, also. He had an unreal so day. He took that. I'm surprised he didn't do computer science. Unreal day. Benjamin Lilly from Brock, Adrian Elia from Mission Collegiate, uh, Jacob Matsky from Brock, Louis Gear. I've heard that name before. San Antonio Basin Shivano, Nicholas Ashoya, Mission Collegiate. So wait a minute, Mission Collegiate has one. Two, three names before I see the first. Uh, wait up, did uh, before I say the first Gladewater Sabine name, Aspen Woodall. So you all did math pretty good. Eliza Roper is in there. Hold on, Eliza Roper, eleventh best scorer in the state. Michael Taylor. All right, let's take a look at the teams. It looks like Mission Collegiate ran away with it. That's what it looks like. The Mission Collegiate Knights. Mission Collegiate, 682. Man, can you all be stopped? I don't know if you all can be stopped. You all looking great in math. Oh, yeah. I, I think math is probably our strongest. Um, calculator is going to be close. And number sense, number sense is going to be hard for us to win. But so we'll see. San Antonio Shavano Basis, Gladewater Sabine, Brock, Grand Saline, Callisburg. Harmony School of Discovery. I don't know what that H stands for. Fort Worth, Harmony Innovation, New Waverly, Tuscula, Jim Ned. All right. So that was 3A. 4A. What are their names in 4A? Marco Tan. Uh, Marco Tan. Stacy Zane. Yeah, okay. Marco Tan with a 298. Uh, Big Spring. Justin Nguyen. Dallas Science Engineering Magnet. Or Dallas Science Engineering. Uh, Luke Dragalia from Salado. He put the answer. Yash Kudar from Dallas Science Engineering Magnet. Stacy Zhang, fifth place in the state. Port Lavaca Calhoun. Gudar from uh, Dallas Science Engineering. Um, Matthew Bidwell from Georgetown Gateway. Paige Farris from Salado. Rohan Parthapon from Dallas Science Engineering. Stephen Livingston, our friend, friend from Dallas Science Engineering. Wow, Dallas Science Engineering did pretty good. Let's see who got the team. Team. Dallas Science Engineering by 100 points over Salado. Georgetown Gateway, Port Lavaca Calhoun, Longview Spring Hill, Big Spring, all uh, first place in the respective district. Dallas Talented and Gifted got second place. I guess they're behind Dallas Science Engineering. All right, these are some good scores. 5A. How did 5A shape up? 
Is that the top score in the state? Aiden Gerser, 352? Yeah, that was yeah. That's a high score. That's really impressive. Derek Lee, 326. Tony Wang, I mean, just powerhouse after Tony Wang, 306. Daniel Ramirez, 288. David Hubby, look at David Hubby. David, South Texas Science Academy. Brennan Ashley from Hallsville. Malik from Grapevine. Gupta from uh, Baytown Goose Creek Memorial. Kyung Hoon from Mission Sherryland. Third place individual, so he still makes it to state. Good. Delwyn Kim, Corpus Christi Ray. Hey, Agnes Sarkar, I've been hearing that name quite a bit on the chat. From Frisco Heritage. James Reagan from Argyle. Well, this is just a bunch of great names here. Let's take a look at the team. 5A, math. Let's take a look. 5A, math. Sharon Pioneer. But Lubbock was right behind him. Two points. Abilene Wiley. Hallsville, Corpus Christi Flower Bluff, Argyle, Grapevine, Frisco, Liberty, College Station, A&M Consolidated. So, wow. And South Texas Science Academy, look, David Hubby School, Frisco Heritage. All right, that's 5A. Let's look at 6A. Justin Lye, defending state champion, true to form. 348. Andrew Lee from Dallas Highland Park. Warth Rahman from Allen. Are they here? Michelle Jing from Dallas mm -hmm. Highland Park. Ariane Bohr from Fort Bend Clements. Eric Lee. <laughs> Fort Bend Elkins. Third place individual, Eric Lee. Luke Ting from mm -hmm. Dallas Highland Park. M Michael Chang from Katie Seven Lakes. Rasheel Shaw from Dulles. Aaron Zhu from Plano, Plano West. All right. I'm kind of curious about these uh, team scores. Look at Fort Ben Elkins. And we got... Dallas Highland Park, 9-10. Not too far behind is Fort Ben Clements. And, not, and then uh, Fort Ben Elkins advancing to uh, region. Plano West... Allen, Allen. Was Allen there in full strength? Do you know Andy? Yeah, they, I mean, the, the ones that have been, they've been scoring like 9, 902, 914. They had all their same guys. They just didn't score well. Well, they're missing uh, Jacob McPherson, but he mainly does number sense. So yeah. I'm not sure if he's actually on the math team. He was last year, but... Um, yeah, I mean, he, ne he didn't go to any practice meets last year or this year, so. Um, okay. But, I mean, without him, they still on the B were at 902, you know, Team SA 13, 914. And it was with the same people they had. Okay. So Fort they ben, can do better. They'll, they'll bounce back. Hey, Fort Bend Dulles, they showed up at least. Good, good, good. K7 Lake showed up. Round Rock. Hey, Carnegie Vanguard, man. I used to teach at Carnegie Vanguard for a while. Tom Bob Memorial. All right. Hey, Eric Lee, you there? What do you think? You think you can close the gap in region? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this test, I think it played well to j Law's strengths and less to mine. So uh, his his score was a lot higher than mine. But I think I can close the, close the gap in region. Yeah, I've done it before. All right. I think we got three weeks, man. We got three weeks. All yeah. right. And then for team, let's take a look at the team. Oops, I think I passed by that. Oh, I don't have the team. Oh, no, those were the teams. My bad. They were the teams. All right. That was 6A. 6A. And those are the math results. So, math. Ricardo's show was impressive, man. I was impressed. Aiden Gerser, out of control. What other headlines do you get from, the, from mathematics? Andy? Yeah, there were there were some really high scores, but then there weren't just like a ton of scores over three hundred. So I guess certain people, you know, were able to go fast enough. 
352 by Aiden, 348 by Justin. Yeah, really impressive scores. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of variance in scores, so I think you'll you'll see some things shake up. Does Highland Park community. feel comfortable? Uh, no, I wouldn't say comfortable, but um, I feel I feel like Michelle. Uh, she's still got a little bit left in the tank, and. I was surprised with Andrew because he took the USA JMO Tuesday and Wednesday, which is like four and a half hours each day. Wow. I just kind of thought his brain was going to be fried, but uh, he, had, he had a good day. Wow, wow. Yeah, Michelle Sheen was top gun, right? Yeah. No, she, she did well. It's just, um, yeah, I think I think she could have gotten a few more questions, you know, without a problem. But. Well, you all looked impressive. She shows up. She shows up for the big meets, though. That's yeah. That's- Last year, between uh, region and state, she went up about 40 points. So. I was expecting it to be closer with Allen, though, you know? Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, we'll see you at region. Um, yeah, we'll see you at region. We'll see you at region. All right, guys, let's take a look at the chat. And then we got science, and that's it. We'll close it out. Hold on, let me look at the chat. See if there's anything. Aiden Gerser. It's just a math god. What I agree with that statement. He is great. All right, some good stuff. Good stuff. And let's take out the. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go to science. Oops, hold on. I had the wrong screen showing. Give me a second. All right, so I looked at the chat. We're gonna to go to science. Oh, Ty Schaller, Devsons. Okay, great. I love the. I like. The, I love the interaction here, guys. I love the interaction. Great interaction. All right. Awesome. I think somebody wants the guy in the top left corner's number. I think that's you, Eric Lee. <laughs> that's no, funny. that was that was kind of That's funny. All right. All right. Cool. And so we're gonna do science. And here's the deal. Uh, let me see if there's anything. Uh, this will be your last opportunity to call in, you know, because after science, we're going to uh, wrap it up. So if you want to say something, this is the time to get into the waiting rooms. This is the time to get into the waiting room if you want to, like, uh, voice an opinion. So let's go ahead and look at science. You ready, gentlemen? Science. Yes, sir. All right. Let me make sure we have an optimal view here. All right, science, 1A. And I love the fact that in science you get like new schools showing up. Brianna Ackley from Avery. Katie Baird from Avery. So it's clear that Avery does science. Trevor Brockway from Meadow and Kristen Burkett from Avery. So three of the top four coming out of district in 1A are from Avery. Vernon Northside, Ollie Heatley, James Miller from Nippa, Cooper Mao from Fayetteville, Lathan Henniger from Trent, Alanis or Alanis Billings from Guthrie, Jacob DeMoss from Bellevue. And the team, it's got to be Avery by a mile, I would imagine. Let's take a look. Science 1A. Avery 318, and they won it by over 100 points, so they're looking very solid in science. Nippa. 200, Meadow, 196, Tilden McMullen County, 178, Bellevue, 174, Santa Ana, 154, Fayetteville, 154. All right, so that's 1A. 2A, Bryson Klein from Lockney with a 180. And at two points behind, Nicholas Ellison from Woodsboro. So he's really made a move. Being the second best science score in, in 2A from the state coming out of district. Nicholas Ellison at 178. That's impressive. Aiden Wolf from Tolar. Pratt McLean from Grover. Isaiah Seymour from El Dorado. Dayton Matthews from Crawford. Jose Iglesias from El Dorado. Joseph Rodriguez from Grover. Jace Keys from Lindsay. Audrey Adams from Grover. So let's look at those 2A science team scores. Who are the teams to watch out for in Science 2A? And we got...
got. I have a question, so. What's the question? Uh, you said Ellison has five state titles? I think he does. Yes. So if he, so if he sweeps science and math and number sense and calculator, he'll have the nine. But you know what the number, you know what the magic number is? You know what the magic number is? It's 10. What is it? It's 10. Larry White sent me an email. Tell me. Joy Kennedy has 10. Where? Joy Kennedy. Who is it? So Larry White sent me an email listing her state Ten champions. Individuals? Huh? Individual state champions. Okay. So Joy Kennedy, I believe, has 10. Well, that's, yeah, those should be easy to... Uh, to verify. Yeah, those, those should be easy to look up because it's on the website. Exactly, exactly. So he sent me an email yeah. listing 10 state championships. So the magic number, I think, is 10. And of course... Uh, Did she do it in science? I think she won all four her senior year. There you go. Maybe that's why. I think she's doing all four that, senior I, year. I didn't look at science. I just looked straight. So that's pretty impressive, yeah. isn't it? And then, you know, I think Oscar Santos with yeah. nine. Yeah. Ilario, Kevin nine. Burnett with seven. So there's quite a few out there. So we'll see. All right. Team standings. Grover with a 352. This is all 2A. El Dorado uh, with a 318. Lindsay, 278. Northwest Steel. Early College, 240. Shiner, Crawford, Woodsboro, Lockney, Weimer, and Dallardsville, Big Sandy. All right, so let's go to 3A. 3A, individual, San Antonio, Basis, Shivano. Man, they do good in science, man. From Eric Zhao. Carl Fry from Gladewater, Sabine. Ethan Hogan to, to Skula, Jeanette. What's that? Uh, Bases and defending state champions. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, look at Ricardo, man. Doing great. Fourth place for coming out, out of district. Ricardo Ochoa. Lewis Gear, San Antonio Bases, Shivano. Kyle Ibanez from Gladewater, Sabine. Laney Hood from Canadian. William Sheets from Gladewater, Sabine. Samuel Bryan from T Tuscula, Jim Ned. David Igbalajobi from Beaumont, Early College High School. All right. So let's look at the teams. 3A Science. Who emerges in science in 3A? It's been a Gladewater, uh, Sabine, and Mission wow. Collegiate show till now. Have to scroll more for science. Between Shivano, okay. Yeah. Oh, basically Shivano. Yeah, Shivano. Hey, but Gladewater, Sabine, not too distant. They do some science at Gladewater, Sabine, apparently. Tuscula, Jim Yeah, Ned. I see it. Last year, they're forward, uh, they're back and forth all year. Really? So that's a battle. It should be close this year too. That's a battle. Beaumont Early College High School Mission Collegiate three thirty six Valley View Canadian. All right. So those are those teams, and that is three A. Let's go to four A. Four A Science. Matthew Bidwell. For some reason, that name sounds familiar. Georgetown Gateway. Siano Cummins, Beeville. Marco Tan, Big Spring. Trevor Smith, Lindale. Madeline Morton, Lindale. Constantine Savoy, Huffman Hargrave. Fatima Smotty, Lindale. Zach Rutledge, Canton. Jacob Match, Wimberly. Angelina Jansen, Lindale. Hey, Laferia. Laferia, Haley Ramos. Laferia making a show. And the teams in 4A? Let me scroll down. Teams in 4A. Here they are. Lindale with a 516. Almost 100 points over Needville. <coughs> Georgetown Gateway, Dallas Engineering Magic, Wimberley, Huffman Hargrave, Lafetia, first in their district. Lafetia with a 382. All right. Hey, I got in contact with the coach from Lafetia, uh, Mr. Guerrero. What they was his name? Have, huh? Mr. Guerrero. Yeah, Romaldo. You get an interview him? I think so. I think so, man. He's been doing hey, it for a while. Good. So we're yeah, going to do he's it. He's been doing it since I, I, 
I was in high school. <laughs> well, I've been impressed because I always see Lefarious science scores, so I've been impressed. So I look forward to telling his story, tell you the truth. So, all right, that's 4A science. Lindell looks like the clear favorite. 5A. Danny Roberts from Argyle. Declan Iyer from Denton. Isaac Fisher, Argyle. Aiden Gerderser. Abilene Wiley. Ryan McCarrath, Argyle. So Argyle looks like they're going to run away with science, man. Charles Moore, White House. Looks like. Sashi Kula Tilaka from College Station. Vignesh Anand from Frisco Centennial. Jose Farias, Mission Sherryland. David Hovey, top 10. South Texas Science Academy. David Hovey in the house. Let's take a look at these teams. Teams in 5A. Let's get there. 800 students. There you go. Argyle by about like 150 points over South Texas Science Academy. That's uh, David Hovey's team. College Station, right on their heels. Friendswood, out by my, out by where I live. Friendswood, Lubbock. College A&M Consolidated, Mission Sherryland. Abilene Wiley, Frisco Liberty, Frisco Centennial. All right, these Frisco schools. That's 5A. All right, let's wrap it up with 6A. Luke Ting, there you go, Dallas Highland Park, Luke Ting, Eric Yang from Allen, Jeffrey Key, Jeffrey Key was at the state meet last year from Carnegie Vanguard, Rasheel Shaw, defending champion, comes out fourth place, but he's like within shot, he's from Fort Ben Dulles, Arian Bora, Fort Bay Clements, Calvin Chu, Klein, Aaron Zhao, Plano West, Cynthia Lee, San Antonio Reagan, Richard Lee, Dallas Highland Park, Tony Dong, Fort Ben Dulles. Who took the team? Was it Highland Park? Was it Dulles? Looks like Highland Park. Take a look. That's a battle right there. Highland Park with 828. Fort Ben Dulles, 800. Allen, not too far behind, 792. San Antonio Reagan, 68, 688. Austin Westlake, Fort Bank Clements, Fort Bank Clements, Plano West, <coughs> Carnegie Vanguard, Round Rock, Katie Seven Lakes, South Lake Carroll. All right, so that's science. All right, so what are your thoughts, gentlemen? Any thoughts? Science, uh, Highland Park, looking pretty good. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. Dulles is really good, and the tests get progressively harder in science almost always, whereas some of the math events you never really know. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, the 1A, um, Avery has my mom's hometown. So really? So hometown, 500. So I'll, I'll be rooting for them as well. Uh, really? They got two really good science teachers. For a school that small, so Mr. Kane and Mr. Burkett. So, uh, I'm glad you made a shout out. I'm glad. That's great. That's great. Hey, Allen wasn't too far behind either in science. Yeah, they they have good, really good science team. So that's interesting. Interesting stuff. All right, gentlemen, let's take a look at that. Uh, la one last look. One last look at the uh, chat. So one last look at the chat. Let's take a look. See what we got. See if we got anything interesting. David Hovey. Let's see. Some shout outs here. Andy Ho. Francisco Garcia. Hey, Seattle Cummins. I read that name. Argyle moves up to 5A and is still winning. <laughs> hey, Seattle Cummins. I remember reading that name. That's good. That's good. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if uh, we got anybody on the Discord willing to contribute. So no Discord call-ins today. 
Oh, well. District, it's a long show with District. No Discord call-ins. All right, so a lot, of, a lot of interaction in the chat, which I love. Not so much in the call-ins. That's all right. Not so much in the call-ins. Gentlemen. Oh, no, comment. Uh, I think uh, Wichita Falls Roger got posted after the, this ran. Oh. And, yeah, uh, they have a McGowan, he got second to Justin in science last year. Um, and he had a 292. That would have been the highest in five. Okay, okay. Hey, so what battles are we interested in watching at the region meets? Look, 5A, Region 1, and Region 4. Yeah, are both of are. I think and, uh, uh, Sheridan, a region first region. pioneer calculator, uh, because I think Victor and Nava probably score higher. I mean, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And then, yeah, all those Region 1 battles between Lovett, Wiley, uh, Grapevine. Grapevine. I'm very okay. curious about K-7 Lakes and Calculator now. You know, I'm um, just... North Shore is really good, too, so that's, that's going to be a battle. That's going to be... That, that, that's a new battle that I never anticipated. So that, that K-7 Lakes, uh, that really took me by surprise. Man, that's like um, the number one surprise of this show to me right now is the K-7 Lakes Calculator For us in 6 Region 1, it's like all four events. Number since Calculator, Math Science, it's like us and Alan will be battling out. Plano West had a good math score as well, but... I think Alan will be our main competitor. So can uh, can Clements repeat as Matt champions? Uh, I wouldn't count Elkins out at Region either because um, you know they, they I don't know if they still saying that, but what they said earlier was that some of their guys couldn't beat because of science ball at Region. Yeah, and that's, that's what that's the case. I mean, that's kind of what at San Antonio they seemed like they just took the people that could compete at Region and. If, if you use three people, Elkin score beat Clements in math. All right, yes, yes. At San Antonio. Oh. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. All right, gentlemen. Uh, so um, so let's go ahead and uh, do the final thoughts. Any final thoughts, parting words before we close this out? Uh, let's go around. Kyung Hoon, you got any final words or parting thoughts, man? Um, I think the district meets with the results were very interesting. I'm looking forward to regionals and competing against everyone else across the state. Kyung Hoon, I'm very impressed with you, man. I wish you the best of luck, man. I like the energy you put out, man. I, I really, really wish you the best of luck. All right, Kyung Hoon, you did fantastic, man. Thank you. All right. Eric, any final thoughts or parting thoughts? Yeah, like like Kyung Hoon, uh, I'm really excited for region. I want to face off against uh, the North Shore kids and as well as uh, Jay Life for Clements especially in calculator and excited to see what happens. Hey, and you're only a sophomore, man. So you, you're, you're, you're in the thick of it in 6A as a sophomore. I'm so impressed. I'm so I'm, I'm impressed by uh, your gentlemanly manner. Every time I talk to you, uh, true gentleman, and I, I wish you the best of luck. And guess what? I get to see you. I get to see you at region at KD seven lakes, April 22nd. So I'll make sure to shake your hand and say hi, buddy. Yeah, I'll see you there. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. How about you, uh, Andy? Any parting thoughts, final words? Well, I mean, four weeks between now and region is a long time. And, uh, you know, you never know. Some of the tests could get, you know, quite a bit more difficult. So I, I could see some some different results. Uh, you know, kids could improve uh, over that time. So I would never count yourself out just because of where your district placing was. Yes. Good point. Good point. You got to play the games, man. There have been surprises before, man. So uh, we've had wild cards win state, right? So. Yeah. Peter, final thoughts. Man, there's so much talent. So much talent. And all that gets through is three individuals and the top team. And then everybody else has to wait for that wild card. It's tough. You, no. It Region is three, tough. Calculator, 6A. You got you got Justin Lai and Eric Lee. They both would have been just uh, shut out from going to state if it was region. So it could be anybody's day, anybody's day. So everyone needs to go prepared because it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Hey man, I want to make a shout out to the seniors, man. Kim Hoon, you're great. Aiden Gerdeser, Derek Lee, Nicholas Ellison. 
What a great group of seniors we got this year, man. That's just the ones off the tip of my head. Um, these guys Dylan are great. Patel. What's that? Oh, Dylan Patel? Dylan Patel. How can I forget Dylan Patel, man? Exactly. They're just like a, a great group of seniors. I, I'm kind of rooting for these guys a little bit, but, you know, hey, you got to play the games, man. That's what I love about math. Sentiment and all that, then go out the window. It's all about your performance on the exam. This is our Coliseum. This is our Gladiator Coliseum. It's win or go home. It's win or go home. All right, let me do a couple shout outs for the channel real quick. Like, next live stream should be that Monday after Region. So, Region's April 22nd. So, we should do a Region live stream April 24th. So, I look forward and we'll see how all these battles unfolded. We'll see how all these battles unfolded. Also, let me quickly say that if you enjoy this content, you please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. I really appreciate your support of the channel. I love putting the highlight on these uh, on these wonderful students. Uh, in the works, in the works, I have a lot of stuff in the works. I have an IMO winner that I'm going to be uh, interviewing. Uh, I, I'm scheduled to interview him. I have a, a four-time IMO uh, medalist, two gold, two silver. I have the Corpus Christi Flower Bluff team. I have the Goose Creek Memorial team on tab. So I got... I got a couple of coaches on tab, so I got a lot of stuff in store for this channel. So uh, please subscribe, and I appreciate you. Hey, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Been a busy uh, three weeks, three live streams in three weeks, man. Not to mention a teaching load, so it's been extremely busy. Andy, aren't you exhausted? Yeah, I was giving tests today and kept sitting. Find myself doze off. Hey man, I was. It's a good exhaustion because I love this stuff, but it's exhausting, you know. So three live streams in three weeks. To everybody, I, I'm. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys, and I want to say uh, thank you for being part of this show to each one of you. And uh, and take care, guys. Take care. Uh, we live stream April twenty fourth next. All right, stay tuned to my channel, gentlemen. Take care. Farewell. Thank you.